Nico, yeah. well done on getting the submission win. You've been one of the people spearheading PFL Europe, and I know we spoke at the Vida show in Leeds, and that was before the Madison Square Garden fight and everything. It's, yeah. it's been a crazy journey for you, hasn't it? It has been a bit wild, yeah. Um, I've enjoyed it though. Obviously, third fight in at PFL now. First one for PFL Europe. This week's been a lot. It's been a lot. Um, first time, like, I felt like I've not carried the show, but like, you know, been the main person of the, in the show with Simeon. And um, it's been a lot, you know, a lot of new emotions and stuff, but I've enjoyed every single second. So. Do you get extra happy after getting submission wins? Because obviously, you have that massive Thai boxing background. Does yeah. it make you extra happy getting stuff like that? Yeah, that was um, one of the things I really wanted to show. Um, and the fight kind of played out in a scenario that we actually worked in the gym. So it was really strange. Um, worked a lot with Aaron Eby on my um, ground game systems and things like that. And it just, everything just went how it should have. So I was really happy to be honest. But um, yeah, I'm just happy I got to show a little bit of a different side to me. You know, people just say, oh, she's just a striker, but she can't wrestle, she can't, she's not really got a ground game. But you know, I just don't need to use it right now. And today I got to show a little bit of it, but you know, I'll just, carry on and keep shutting them up that way. <laughs> you had your Manchester top team teammates as well, Lucy yeah. Scott, Lewis Carrillo. So they put pressure on you to go and get that finish because they go and get first round finishes themselves. How hyped are you after seeing their performances as well? Yeah, I mean, I'm so happy for the boys. Um, I didn't get to see the fights obviously because I didn't have anywhere to watch it, but um, I mean, I just, just to have everyone winning is just so good, you know, just nice to see um, just people from Manchester, like, you know, repping for us all, and um, hopefully we can bring a show to Manchester one day with the PFL. Um, it would make sense with Brendan as well, wouldn't it? It would. Champ. It really would. Brendan, me, you know, Lewis. We want a flyweight division for the men as well because we want Aaron Avey in it too. But <laughs> that's something I need to speak to James about. But um, yeah, I mean, I feel like Manchester are really kind of proving themselves recently. So um, yeah, and just the UK, obviously, like Liam Edwards just kind of retained his title. So it's really on a high at the moment, it's nice to see. Lerone as well, representing Manchester. Lerone absolutely put on a clinique the other day, so, you know, Veronica as well, she fought, I was really impressed with her, she was really good, so just the UK in general is just really on an up at the moment. Well done. Thank you. Was that the game plan to try and take her down and get that to show the different facets of your, of your arsenal, or you just took the opportunity to get it down? I wouldn't say it's a game plan because, um, I mean, it kind of was, kind of was. I've worked on it, we've worked on that, but it wasn't something that I went out and we always say, like, don't go out looking for it because that's when things go wrong. You know, like, just have see what comes. But just knowing that I have that in my locker just gives me the confidence to go out and be comfortable in every situation. And obviously, I looked very comfortable on the floor today because I've worked that, so that's just how it went. So you're still undefeated. Any yeah. pressure on yourself to keep that up? Yeah. Of course, I mean, yeah. there's pressure, I can put pressure on myself to keep that up. I'm never going to let go of that O as, as long as I can, so um, I, I don't kind of look at the number too much. I just want to keep improving and make sure I'm winning, so, yeah. Manchester, one, six, one, James Robert shirt, though. around that, what was it like to be back fighting on home soil in front of the British crowd again? I mean, did you hear my crowd tonight? <laughs> did you see the wild ones running about? Um, it was so nice just to walk out and see familiar faces, which I haven't had in a while. Um, so that was really nice, yeah. And um, to hear my name being chanted and stuff was, was brilliant. I was getting sent, like I had a coach full that came up. So I was getting sent videos and my brother and that were showing me videos of them all on the coach singing and chanting my name and stuff. And it just, it, it does mean so much to have that support. I, like. I don't think anyone will truly understand until they're in that moment that that support, even though you know they're not with you all the time, really does like help in the situation. Yeah, totally. Congrats on the win. How did it feel knowing a lot of people are coming tonight specifically to see you? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of part of the pressure. Like I was co-main event, like me and Simeon were carrying this this show. Do you know what I mean? And it was it was a lot. Like I felt a lot of different emotions this week. And I did struggle, I was a little bit moody, I'm not going to lie, my brother will back us on that. I've been a bit quiet and stuff and a bit irritated with a few things, but um, I've really enjoyed it, you know, and, and now now it's done, I'm proud of myself. Like, I'm only 24, dead young, um, 
I'm basically kicking off PFL Europe. It's the first one they've done, so I feel like I'm quite proud of myself and quite proud of you know all of us for putting on such a good show tonight because I feel like the, the event just looks amazing. And what are your plans now between now and September? Do you know, I'm gutted that I've got such a break. I would have liked to fight in between it. So um, I don't know whether that can happen, but with the tournament going on, but um, I'll just, you know, see what happens in that time, but I'll just get ready for the next round and make sure that um, I'm still on form for the next fight. I don't know who I'm going to get, but I'm not really too bothered either. <laughs> Glory, you told me yesterday, or uh, yeah, a few days ago, that the pressure felt like a different type of pressure from this fight. Uh, yeah. At what point does that pressure sort of fall off? I don't think it ever will. Um, I was like honestly thinking to myself like over these few days, what kind of got me through it was like Kayla's won um, the million pound the, the million dollar tournament like two times in a row, you know. So imagine the pressure that she was feeling. I'm just carrying my first hundred thousand dollars. Do you know what I mean? So I have to kind of put it in perspective and just say like this is kind of your build up to the big point that you're working for all the time. So. I felt like um, that's kind of what got me through it, thinking about like Brendan and Kayla and all them who were fighting for a million, you know, the pressures that they're doing and they're carrying a massive show like that. So I just have to um, take it day by day and just um, enjoy it, which I have tried to do this week and I really have enjoyed it. It's just been very new, I think. It says a lot that the 100K is just a side mission. <laughs> yeah. Point. So but you, you showed a lot of emotion as well after the win. Um, sort of what got you so emotional? I mean, I do get quite emotional. Every fight for me is like I'm fighting for a world title. It doesn't matter whether it's the first stage of a tournament or whether I'm getting 100k or 10k. Like, like I said before, I want to win. You know, I don't want to let go of my air when I think that's the main thing for me is that I'll, I'll win every fight. You know, I'm not just coming in, oh, it's the first round, I'll just, you know, breeze through it type thing. Like, this is a lot for me. Every opponent I, I face, I never underestimate, no matter who it is. Um, so I think that's why I get so emotional because every fight means the same, it doesn't matter how big or small it is. And since we're done here, sorry, like last the last question, what is your McDonald's order? Oh, well we spoke about this on the way up, so I'm getting a, a spicy McCrispy, the new burger, medium, with a Coke, and, has anyone seen the new Maltese and McFlurry? Yeah, yeah a few nods then, <laughs> I'm getting that too. <laughs> God, I was going to say, I don't know if you know, off topic, uh, but uh, Erling Haaland's been ruled out for the rest of the season. <laughs> No, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at my brother there, like, check that news quick. I've not been on my phone for a few hours and I haven't seen that, so. Yeah, yeah. No, but, in all seriousness, so, like, you came out, you looked calm, even though yeah. there might have been nerves. Do you think now that you've had this experience, you can go on to headline your own card, be the main show, by yourself? Yep, I definitely feel like, I, I, I thrive under pressure, you know, you put me under pressure and I perform better. Um, so I feel like if you did that to me, if you had done that to me today, I would have still delivered the same. Um, but obviously, it's just new emotions that I'm not used to, but I will still deliver every time. I've got a good support system around me that keeps me going, so I feel like I would have done the same thing. Yeah, I was going to ask, what, what helps you get through it? Definitely the support that I have around me. Like, um, my brother obviously is in my corner every time. He's like a big help. He's with me all through fight week. I don't think I've, I would probably be able to do it without him if I'm honest. Aww. So without him there it would be hard, not gonna lie. <laughs> he does get more nervous than me actually, so sometimes I have to like help him a little bit and say like, don't worry, I'm gonna be fine. But <laughs> um, he definitely helps me and just, um, yeah, like Aaron Avey, he is super calm. Like if you can ever spend some time with him, you'll know like he'll just keep you exactly how you need to be. And I feel like I just have the right people around me that know me best. And I think that's really important that, you know, Every coach that I work with and every person that I work with, I have um, a bond with them. Not They're not just like a, a, co a coach from the gym or like, you know, I have a bond with everyone. And I think that's from like my mum being my coach my whole life through Thai boxing. I've always had that like mum and coach feeling, you know, really homely. So everywhere I go, I kind of have to imitate that. And I feel like that's why I, I, I have such a good support system and deliver so well because I have like homely figures around me. Do you find it hard separating family from coaching, for example? Yeah, I do find it difficult. Like, my mum and my brother are both my coaches, but I listen to my, bro my brother better than my mum. So my mum will feed to my brother, and then my brother will feed to me. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, even when I go out to fight, I don't really hear my mum's voice. Like, even through Thai boxing, I don't actually tend to hear my mum's voice. I have to say, 
tell Cody what you want to shout and he'll shout it and I hear him. So it's really strange, like, but I do obviously listen to them both, but just hear better from Cody. Congrats on the video. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.